In the dark, we are only able to see the shadow of the people we really are. We have no concept of actuality and only feel a sense of fear, loneliness, and hopelessness. There is no certainty of what lay around us, and therefore we have no way to know the direction in which we are headed. This darkness can consume us, torment us, physically and psychologically, and will eventually kill us if we are not able to bring ourselves to a light. Being afraid of who you really are is just like being alone in the dark. It limits a person's ability and creativity. When you are afraid of yourself, you are afraid of the world, and this only leads to insecurities and misjudgments. I was one of those people who was scared of myself, scared of my feelings, scared of my thoughts. I could not understand why, when everyone else seemed so normal, I felt so different. Why, when all the other guys liked girls, I liked guys. None of it made any sense to me. I couldn't find a way to understand the feelings I was experiencing. Either that, or I just did not want to accept the fact that I was different. Maybe others noticed it before me. Since middle school, everyone would always question why I would act so feminine, or why I would only hang out with girls. I assume a great part of it had to do with the fact that I grew up with only females. I didn't really have any male figures in my life. It didn't bother me one bit though, because girls were just too much fun. I still think that those guys who would question me were just jealous of the fact that I got to chill with all the hot girls they wished they had while they were stuck with a bunch of other dudes. It makes sense in my head. But I kept my mouth shut. The only thing that did bother me was the name calling and not being able to fit in. I didn't want to end up a loner and friendless. I moved on to high school and even got a girlfriend that I would remain with for almost two years. People would say, oh, she's just a cover up for you being gay. Truth is though, I really did love her. Maybe that confuses people and society's incessant need to place a label on everyone. However, toward the end of our relationship, it was obvious that there was just something that wasn't right. Just something that wasn't complete within me. I would go on living in the dark until my junior year of high school, when my feelings just couldn't be contained anymore. I only told my closest friends. It was more just confirming it to them, because apparently, they saw it coming. I guess everyone did. After graduation, I still was only comfortable with my friends knowing. It wasn't until the end of the summer that I started to change, and it all started with my new friend, Rio. We started off talking over Facebook, and quickly became best friends. It was really he who would change the way I looked at things. Here's a kid, a few years younger than me, who was already comfortable with who he was, and had the courage and passion to be open about it to anyone, despite all the people who bullied and teased him. He inspired me to open my eyes and discover all the things I was missing by hiding who I was. He encouraged me to be honest with myself, as well as others. I admired his courage and told myself that if he can do it, then so can I. No longer would I hide from who I really was. No longer would I hold back any of the things I wanted to do simply because I was scared. No longer would I be ashamed to be different. I do not need to lie to people to make myself fit in. Besides, in this case, it's good to stand out. Since coming out, I feel I am more creative, more outgoing, and more able to overcome the challenges that are placed before me. I feel better about myself, and I only hope that one day I can help inspire someone else to be true and honest with themselves, as Rio did for me. I still have my little insecurities. I still feel a little edgy when people stare because I'm holding hands with a guy. But it's always good to remember that we must live our lives how we deem fit. We must do what is right for us. We must do what makes us happy, regardless of hatred or what society views as normal. We must remember that happiness can be found even in the darkest of times if one only remembers to turn on the light.